you're in for a really good event, I think. I'd also like to thank IEEE for their constant support to the international community with the events such as Guys to One. Uh, yeah. Let's give them a moment. Mr. Dean, would like to say a few words? Thank you, Osama. I always really appreciate your outstanding leadership for this Kaist Money event. Uh, wow. Time flies. Time flies. In three or four weeks, you should take your final examination for writing up your spring term. But don't be disappointed yet. We still have plenty of time to enjoy the days of spring. Uh, probably Obama will uh, inform you uh, the following events. Uh, international Food Bye -bye. Festival, as well as Kaist Student Festival is out there in one week. Okay. Although this is my uh, third time in terms of uh, joining this KAIST one, I could see the real value of this event. So I'm so proud of you who have great potential and enthusiasm. And I'm delighted myself to be a part of the KAIST international community. I hope you guys survive from the harsh final generation. <laughs> See you guys around in the full session of KAIST Month. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, so, unfortunately, Obama couldn't make it. <laughs> to tell you about the food festival, he said I will to be doing the job. Um, if you didn't get the joke, my name is Osama. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the food festival is going to be a huge event, and it's going to be this Friday, 4 p.m., in front of E11 in the um, field. Yep, hope to see you there. And uh, for now, in the moment you have all been waiting for, the announcement of four lucky winners from our Facebook event. If you click going to the Facebook event and come to guys one, uh, you will enter a lottery to win a very you know, simple gift from guys one. So, Mr. Matthew Lavoy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carla Pantimeros. Oh, please come here, sir. Oh, yeah. Miss Carla Pantimeros. Oh, nice. Uh, Miss Sylvie Baez. Sylvie. She's not here. Too bad. Tania Pat Sirisong Gold. Tania Pat Sirisong Gold. Okay, not here as well. All right. from the very vast variety of options. Yeah. You get the second nice choice. Yeah. All right. So, um, next semester, if you would like to um, do an event here for Guys 1 to present your country, Please talk to me or email us at price one at price That's it. Enjoy the event.
The capital of Ecuador is Quito, and the language is Spanish. Hola. Hola. The area of Ecuador is 283,560 uh, square kilometers. It's a very small country, even though it sounds big, it's not really. It's a small country, and our population is 16,144,000 people. The official currency is dollar, but before we used to have another currency called Sucre until 2000. In 2000, we changed to the dollar. Now, Ecuadorian people, ethnic diversity. All these people are Ecuadorian. All of them are Ecuadorian. So that way, we can see that all of us in this salon could be Ecuadorian. We're a very mixed country. We are 72% mestizo, but we will be wondering what is mestizo. Mestizo is a mix between Spanish, Spanish or European people and Amerindian people, people from, and from the Americas. 7.5% is Montubio. Montubio is also a kind of mestizo, but is from the coastal side of the country. 7.4% uh, is black people, 7% Native American uh, or indigenous people, and 7.4% white people. That's the ethnic diversity of the country. After this, after this, we will have a little performance, but it seems like I'm the only one ready for the performance, <laughs> so <laughs> we will just wait a little. And as you know, as you know, you got some numbers when you get into the salon, right? So please take off your numbers because we're gonna receive prizes. Yay! And for that, I will ask the representative of IEEES to just give me randomly three numbers from 1 to 180. From 1 to 180. Please come here. Just, just say it randomly. 180. Yeah. So who would be the lucky winner? Oh, 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Who's 18? Yeah, you got a prize. <laughs> but you need to bring your number. <laughs> also, one other number. Upside down. 81. 81. Is anybody 81? Yay! Maybe we can do a little round of applause for people that got presents. <laughs> yeah, number one, 180. 180. No, not lower. He's lower. 77. 77. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now it seems like they are almost ready. I'm just gonna wait a little time. <laughs> Maybe we could do one more number. Osama, just give me a random number. Five.
Azerbaijan. And uh, life there is not good. <laughs> no? In general. What a pessimist. All right. I'm glad there is. <laughs> Chuchaki. 
Exactly. Maybe some people on Saturday morning they are too tacky. But don't drink and drive. <laughs> now, what is the Ecuadorian word for friend? Who knows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I said the Ecuadorian word, not the Spanish word. Pana, yeah, the Ecuadorian word for amigo is pana. Yeah, you get a little present. We're generous today. <laughs> okay, now. We're gonna see the places to visit in Ecuador. First, we're gonna start with the east side of the country. Ecuador is covered 20% of natural parks, as we already told in the beginning. So we have a lot of rainforest in this side, as the Cuyabeno National Park, where we have 20,000 species of plants, you can see there is rainforest. And also the Yasuni National Park, where we have 1,000 different species of birds. Ecuador has 10% of the biodiversity in the whole world. It's considered one of the multi uh, mega, mega diverse countries in the world because it holds a lot of diversity of the world. <laughs> Yeah, you can see all this in there. <laughs> now, we were, we're going to go to the coastal side, the beaches. First, we're going to start with Santa Elena, where you have Salinas Beach, where you can party or just swim or have fun. Also, Montañita, which is a popular spot for surfers in, in South America. Who doesn't really want to see a surfer in in Montañita. <laughs> now, Santa Elena, Playa Rosada. Playa Rosada means a pink beach. It is because, as you can see here, you get kind of pink color of the sun when the water comes. Then we're gonna go to my favorite place in Ecuador because I am from Quito. So we're gonna talk about, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, this is not, these are more beaches in Ecuador. This is Canoa Beach, Los Frailes, which is also a national park. So there is not going to be much people here. And um, now, for real, we're going to my favorite place to, in Ecuador, my city, Quito, the capital of Ecuador. Um, as you might know, Ecuador was ruled by Spanish people from the 16th century until the 18th century. So the first people that started to think and talk about independence were uh, people from Quito. That's why in Ecuador we call Quito Luz de America. Luz de America means light of America because we were the first people to talk about independence. Also, Quito was declared one of the first World Cultural Heritage Sites in, in 1098. It was declared, once, I think it was Quito and Varsovia in Poland. Those were the first two cities to be declared national uh, World Heritage. And now, we, as I told you, we were ruled by the Spanish people for 300 years. That's why we have a lot of Catholicism in our architecture. We are fully covered of churches. As you can see, this is one of the biggest churches in Ecuador, Basilica del Voto Nacional. We also have La Compañía Church, which is, which is covered in gold. So that, you see, is all gold. <laughs> then we have San Francisco Church. El Panecillo, this is a virgin. Is one of is a representation of a virgin, and you can see La Virgen del Panecillo from all points in Quito. You can see it 
from everywhere. And also from El Panecillo, you can see the whole city. But Quito also has pretty little spots where you can just enjoy a coffee or grab a drink and just chill over there. Now we're going to talk about the Andes, all the central region of Ecuador that is covered especially by mountains. The Chimborazo volcano is one of the biggest vol uh, volcanoes in the world. It, uh, it is the 18th largest peak in the world. And from the center of, from the nucleus of the earth, it is the biggest peak. Now we also have, we can go in train of wonders that goes from the coast to the Andes region in a seven day journey. We have Quilotoa Lagoon, that is the one I showed you also at the beginning. And we have the swing at the end of the world. The swing at the end of the world is located in a cliff of 2,600 meters. So it is really dangerous, but nobody really falls from a swing, so it's not that dangerous. So it's okay, it's okay, people do get there. It's fine, nothing is going to happen, and the view is spectacular. We also have some waterfalls. This is called Bailón del Diablo and is 80 meters high and 20 meters deep. This. Now we're gonna talk about Galapagos Islands, one of the most famous places in Ecuador. Of course, you can see there are some pictures from Galapagos and Galapagos was declared a uh, UNESCO Natural World Heritage in 1978. 1, uh, 97.5% of the island is a national park. The, the other 3% is populated. That's why we don't have that, that much. That there is not covered by, it's not a national park. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> And the origin of a species by Charles Darwin was uh, based on his visit to Galapagos Islands. As you can see, in Galapagos Islands, we have endemic species. For example, the marine iguana. Usually, iguanas doesn't like to go in the water, but one of the species in Galapagos really loves the water and is endemic from the island. We also have the tortoise that gives Galapagos their name is the giant Galapagos tortoise who can live until 150 years. But unfortunately, right now it's extinct, the tortoise. But they are doing several efforts in order to bring it back. I don't really know how, but they are trying. <laughs> uh, then we have Galapagos penguins, which is one of the four a species of penguins that are in, that live in tropical weather, and we also have piquero and fragata. Fragata, as you can see, this is kind of a airbag. This red thing is kind of an airbag, and the, the fragata inflates that airbag when the male wants to attract the female. They inflate this part. Now we're going to talk about culture and traditions from Ecuador. It's as diverse as the regions. First, we're going to talk about carnival. You have heard about carnival in, uh, in Brazil and also in Panama there is carnival. But we also have our festivities where there is dances and there, there is, and we play with water also in carnival. And there is a big festivity of two days declared as a holiday in Ecuador. You can see there's colors and festivities. And I'm going to present also the La Mama Negra festivity. La Mama Negra means the black mother, black mom, black mom, black mother. And is in, uh, is in honor of one of the virgins in Cotopaxi province because she protected people when the volcano exploded. Cotopaxi volcano exploded. She protected people, so they do this party to honor her. This is called the White Angel, and they are part of the procession of La Mama Negra. 
These are just clowns that play in the in the procession. This is called Moro King. He goes also with La Mama Negra. And this is La Mama Negra. She has a little a little doll that dances.